I'm finding every animal in the UK. I found 103 so far and the rest can only hide for so long. Let's go look for some more. Hello and welcome back to Preacher Chronicles. I'm back at RSVP Polver Brooks today. I've already done one episode here back in the day when I was finding like 25 new species per episode. But today I'll be happy with one or two because I think that's how it's going to be from now on. So yeah, let's go and have a look. While I show you the first few animals I saw on this day, I thought I'd share with you a snaky story of mine, as some reptiles are coming up in a bit. Several years ago, I did some travelling in Colombia. On one of the days, myself and a group of friends did a long trek to an isolated beach. It turned out that isolated beach was actually a major tourist trap, filled with sweaty people and overpriced food, but it was still very beautiful. As the sunset started, we brought some frosty beers and sat on the golden sand, looking out at the gorgeous, calm ocean. But as we all know, although the ocean can look calm, it's filled with beasties. Suddenly, a small but brightly coloured snake came swimming out of the ocean towards our feet, at a terrifyingly fast pace for something without legs. We all jumped up screaming, and in the panic we lost sight of it. My friend shouted, Where is it? Where is it? And it was at this moment I noticed, he was standing on it. He then did the exact jump and scream you would expect from someone who's just found out they're standing on the snake, and the legless beast took that opportunity to return to the sea. My mate was incredibly lucky he didn't get bitten, and it's safe to say we found a new spot to sit after that. This pigeon's feeling a little tame now, isn't it? On that same day, I also had one of the craziest animal encounters of my life, and I filmed that one. That is a massive fat crocodile. This steroid lizard was hanging out in the shallows on the beach right next to the one filled with sweaty tourists. It was a huge adrenaline rush seeing this animal, and also beyond terrifying to think that I had to swim in the same water as him. Hey, I am, bro. Oh. 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 Right, should we calm down back in England now? So I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is a rose plant, but it's got these mosses. Look at this, growing on it like epiphytes. That's cool. Look at that little pom-poms. I then sat in this hide for a little while, and before long, a new species for the series turned up, a hobby. I managed to get this quick shot of it hunting dragonflies before it zipped away and I lost sight of it. But it was awesome to see. Nice, this is the spotted flycatcher that I saw earlier. I didn't really manage to get a shot of it then. Look, there you go. So it just does this little short flights to catch something and then keeps returning to the same sort of area. Next I thought I'd go and check out the Heathland area to see what creatures were lurking around there and it didn't take me long to spot an old friend. Look at this. No way. That's awesome. I had to walk past and pretend I hadn't seen him. I was just thinking about common lizards. The first episode I ever made was on common lizards. And I was just thinking how I hadn't seen one since then, especially with my new lens. Complete with vibration reduction, right? Giving you this nice crispy image. That's so cool. What a result. I haven't actually found that much today. This guy's chilling. That's awesome, you don't see them very often at all. They're so cool. I think just having holes in the side of your head. Now the sun's popping out, or oh, maybe I'll see some more reptiles. 
Right, so I haven't actually seen that much today. I mean, I must have seen, yeah, to be fair, I've been 10 to 15 species, that's pretty good going. And I just saw that common lizard, which I'm quite happy about, to be honest. But yeah, I've got another couple of hours. I'm hoping just to see like a nice hefty bird of prey, like get a decent shot of one, that'd be good. Or another reptile if they want to come out. Um, yeah, we we'll try a bit longer. This guy is chill. Thanks for letting me get such a crispy shot, mate. I'm about six inches away, he's not bothered. We've bonded. I think I'll leave him be now. I've got what I need. I am on a streak. Thought it was gonna leave. I was looking at the blue thing, wondering if it was a snake skin. There's a lizard on it. That's so funny. It's three I found now. I was just about ready to head home at this point, but I thought I'd have one final look around just in case something extra cool popped up. And oh boy, am I glad that I did. Close, close, close. That's a grass snake. Yo, oh, no way. I might have to try and catch it. Where's his face? So that was nuts, right at the end, in exactly the same spot where I first ever saw an adder, found a grass snake, mind blowing, so cool, I absolutely butchered the filming, I'm afraid because I got a bit too excited and then I was trying to like reposition to film its face and it ran away and I didn't have a chance to catch it but that is awesome, I mean I didn't see the craziest craziest bird life today and I was kind of mainly coming for birds. Once again, reptiles outshone them, right? Good on them. So yeah, awesome day, really happy with that. So that wasn't exactly the best grass snake footage ever, but I've been holding on to some other shots from months ago for when I eventually found one again. So here's those bonus clips. Grass snakes are our longest species of snake, growing up to 150 centimeters long. And as they're non-venomous, that makes them the perfect natural skipping rope for kids. They have a couple of go-to techniques to deal with predators, they either play dead, a classic, or they release a foul smelling substance from their anal gland. And you thought you had nothing in common with snakes. They mainly eat amphibians, which isn't a diet I'm personally considering, and they often swallow their prey whole, just another beautiful part of mother nature. A swimming snake? Most people would argue that deserves a like and subscribe. Not me specifically, but most people. <laughs>